Good evening. It is Wednesday, July 6, 2016. This is the Municipality of Anchorage Platting Board Authority. And we will now come to order. May we have roll call? Mr. Young? Present. Mr. Edmondson? Here. Mr. Walker? Here. Ms. Enix? Here. Mr. Cross? Here. Mr. Seward? Here. Ms. Ritz? Here. Mr. Porter has been excused. Thank you. Thank you. And we have a quorum. May I have a motion to approve the action summary? Dan Young moves and Kevin Cross seconds. All in favor, um, please say aye. Aye. Is there any, uh, anyone opposed? Seeing no opposition, the motion summary, the action summary is approved. Next, we have minutes from June 1st meeting, 2016. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? Dan Young moves and Valerie Ritz seconds. Is there any opposition to approving the minutes? Seeing no opposition, the minutes are approved. We have an informational item, abbreviated plat action summary from May 31st and June 6th. Next, we will address um, disclosures. Does anyone have any disclosures? Dan Young. Yes. <clears throat> In the case of um, S11989 Woodhaven Subdivision Edition 3 second 18 month time extension. In that case, I my firm has worked in the past for the petitioner. We have no no um, conflict tonight. I haven't worked on this property. I can I can um, be fair. There's and I have no financial or my firm has no financial interest in this matter before the board tonight. And I think is that case number S one one nine or S one two two eight four? Okay, it's been renumbered to one two two eight four. Thank you. May I have a motion directing Dan Young to uh, participate in the S one two two eight four Woodhaven subdivision? Trevor Edmondson uh, moves and Kevin Cross seconds. Mr. Edmondson, would you please speak to your motion? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, in case S12284, I move direct to direct uh, Commissioner Young to, to participate. As he said, he's got no financial interest uh, in this case and can act impartially. Thank you. Is there anyone opposed to directing uh, Commissioner Young to participate in this matter? Is there anyone uh, one wanting to offer any other findings in support of the motion? Is there any opposition at all? Seeing no opposition, the motion passes. Dan Young, you are directed to participate in case 12284, Woodhaven Subdivision. Are there any other disclosures to be heard? Seeing none. The procedure by which the public may speak to the planning board at its meeting is after the staff presentation is completed on public hearing items, I will ask the public testimony for, te for testimony on the issue. Persons who wish to testify will follow the time limits established in the commission rules of procedure. Petitioners and their representatives have 10 minutes. They may reserve part of their time for rebuttal. Representative groups such as city community councils and PTAs have five minutes Individuals have three minutes. 
When your testimony is complete, you may be asked questions by the board. You may only testify once on an issue unless questioned by the board. Before you begin your testimony, please state your name and spell your last name for the record. We will now take up new business. Uh, and the first business is case S12284, Woodhaven Subdivision. May we have staff's presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on May 1st, 2013, the Platting Board uh, approved an 18-month uh, uh, plat for of a 20-acre uh, preliminary uh, subdivision of one tract of land into 13 lots and two tracts with a variance from AMC 2180-300D uh, design standards for lot dimensions. The width of a lot shall uh, be at least one-third the depth of a lot and a cluster housing site plan uh, review per AMC 2150-210B. On December 3rd, 2014, the Platting Board approved a first 18-month time extension uh, that would expire May 1st of 2016. The petitioner states the reason for this time extension is uh, because, and I quote, the private development plan review process took several years to complete due to complications in downstream drainage. Uh, requirements from the Corps of Engineers wetland permit, turnover in MOA review staff, and difficulties balancing the requirements of the MOA versus the Corps of Engineers. Uh, by the time the plans were approved in 2015, there was not enough time to acquire the capital needed to complete uh, the project prior to expiration, end quote. This time extension request was received April 28th, uh, prior to the May 1st, 2016 expiration date in accordance with AMC 2115-115-115-D2 which requires the request be made in writing prior to the expiration date of the preliminary plat to be eligible for consideration by the platting authority. Uh, reviewing agencies had either no comment or no objection to the time extension request, and, and with that, the department recommends approval of the second 18-month time extension uh, to November 1st of 2017. I'd be happy to answer any questions the board may have. Um, thank you. Thank you. Does the board have any questions for staff? May we have the petitioner's representative? Hello, Andre and Daisy Spinelli, S-P-I-N-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I. Thank you. You have uh, 10 minutes. Do you want to reserve any for rebuttal? Um, sure. OK. Um, how much? Dave's, however much I don't use. Okay. Probably close to nine. Okay. Maybe more. <laughs> um, Dave's quote pretty much sums it up. There was, uh, I mean, the, some of the stuff I can tell you about the subdivision, it's consistent with the Hillside District Plan. We have two open space tracks to preserve the wetlands. It's kind of something, a, a subdivision process that's called for in the Hillside District Plan. And ended up being a bit more challenging than we thought it was due to downstream drainage and existing drainage problems caused by a long story of things happening lower down on Furrow Creek. Either way, what we ended up getting approved was uh, a drainage plan that consisted of some off-site improvements, um, some improvements done by us in the municipal municipal right away downstream that should hopefully alleviate some of the uh, flooding problems that some of the folks have been experiencing down there for uh, over 20 years. Um, those improvements are completed. My subdivision is 90 percent completed, the improvements required per the previous planning action, and uh, we're hoping for approval. That's all. Thank you. Does the board have any questions? Thank you. Oh, we do have a question. Trevor Edmondson. Through the chair, Mr. Spinelli, um, part of, I think I heard you say you're 90, about 90% 90 complete with the civil improvements. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Part of the justification here was uh, by the time the plans were approved in 2015, there was not enough time to acquire the capital to complete the prior to complete prior to expansion. Maybe you can explain that a little bit based well, on the fact you're almost complete. We started uh, about six weeks ago. Oh, okay. All right. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Does that bring up any other questions? Thank you. Is there anyone from the public who wishes to speak? Anyone at all? It doesn't appear that uh, there is anyone from the public who wishes to speak, who wish to have anything in rebuttal. And he waves his hand, no, no rebuttal. The matter now rests with the board. May I have a motion? Trevor Edmondson, please state your motion. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, case S12284, Woodhaven Subdivision Edition 3. I move for the approval of the second 18-month time extension um, as requested by the petitioner. Thank you. And Christina Enix has seconded the motion. Would you like to speak to your motion? Uh, yeah, Mr. Chair, I, I intend to uh, support my motion um, as stated uh, by the petitioner. There's been numerous engineering challenges uh, with the particular project that sound like they've been sorted out and uh, the project is actually under construction and moving towards completion uh, so um, I think this is, will allow us allow them to uh, complete the project as previously planned and and there seems to be progress to that so yeah, I, I intend again intend to approve my tend to support my motion thank you is there any other findings that someone would like to offer? Is there any opposition to the motion on the floor? Seeing no opposition, the motion passes. Any individual may have appeal rights relating to any action the Platting Board takes. Appeal of this decision or any decision of the conditions is governed by AMC 2111-304. The decision of the board at the scheduled public hearing becomes final seven calendar days after the date the decision is made on the record unless a written request is submitted to the planning division prior to the expiration of the seventh day to prepare a written decision based upon the record made at the hearing and the request is accompanied by a written notice of intent to appeal. Adoption of the written decision by the planning board becomes the final appealable decision within 20 days of the final appealable decision and interested party must file with the municipal clerk either a written motion alleging new evidence or changed circumstances per AMC 2111-503 or an appeal of the board's final appealable decision per AMC 2130. Are there any other persons to be heard by the board tonight? Are there any board comments? Um, Dan Young. Yes, I request to be excused for next month's meeting. You're, thank you. You may be excused for next month's <coughs> meeting. Anyone else? Okay, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Trevor moves. And Christine Enix seconds. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes.